Good morning, guys. I hope your week is going well so far. I'm going to be totally honest with you and say that I've had a pretty rotten week so far. It hasn't been one particular thing, honestly. It's just kind of been a mix of things that have totally taken the happiness out of my week. Now, I know I'm not the only one having a rough week. Some of us got, are tired of, of the craziness around us right now. Some of us are tired of being at home so much. Some of us have been hurt by someone else. Plenty of other reasons pop up as to why it's just been a tough week for all of us. You know, it's easy when we're discouraged to turn inward and to wallow in our own problems. It's in those moments, though, that we really need to look to answers that are outside of ourselves. You know, rehashing words that were said or a situation that's stomping all over our happiness isn't going to fix a single thing. We have to plug back into our power source to get through those kind of weeks. Now, in Ironworks this week, we had an awesome discussion on Tuesday morning about when we're at our wit's end, it's there that the enemy of our soul wants to detach us from the power source, right? He wants us feeling isolated and hopeless, but as believers, guys, we aren't made to function there, right? We have a support system in each other, but even better than that, we have a window into the very heart of our creator in the Bible. Yeah, I know that was the churchy answer, right? But it's true. It's totally true. At our lowest, when we feel like we don't have the, the strength to even drag ourselves one more hour, that's when we need to open up Scripture and dig into the promises that we find in its pages. Now, promises of hope and, and deliverance, promises of victory over suffering. Don't let the enemy whisper that you have to fight this battle alone, guys. It's not true. Scripture is clear that we have the Holy Spirit as our helper in this life to speak the truths of God over us when we are kind of at that bottom, right? And as I'm saying all of this, I'm talking to a mirror because I need to hear this just as much as anyone else out there does this week. So I want to give you guys just a few verses to lean into this week, to, to kind of to use almost as a crutch if you're having a hard week. Joshua 1.9 is one of my favorites. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Love that verse. That's one I keep in my memory all the time. Psalm 46, it says this, that God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Now, some of you might feel that the earth is given away beneath you, and you guys, you're spiraling out of control, but Scripture is clear that God is our helper even in those moments when it feels like we're beyond help. Isaiah 41, here's another one. It says, Fear not, for I am with you. Sounds pretty familiar, right? Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Guys, these are just a few of the many passages of encouragement that we find in Scripture. And you can find plenty of others that might actually resonate better with your situation. These are just some of the ones that I recite on a regular basis, especially in the week that I'm having right now. There is so much power in Scripture, and tucking it away in your thought process is only going to reinforce it when those things start to crumble around you. It's not your strength that's going to get you through, as strong as you want to be. It's God, His strength. It's not your happiness that's going to be restored. You know, that's too much of a roller coaster, happiness is. Instead, God is going to restore your joy. Joy is established in God's promises, not how the world looks at us right now. Jeremiah 15, 16 says this, that your words were found and I ate them. Your words became a delight to me and the joy of my heart, for I am called by your name, Yahweh, God of hosts. Guys, internalize the word of God and let it fuel your joy. And when the mountains tremble and the earth falls away from underneath your feet, guys, you are held in the very hand of God. Don't let the enemy steal your joy this week. Instead, rest on the truths that we find in God's word. I'm praying for all of you guys this week. Please be praying for me as well. We'll see you all real soon.